So, hello and welcome again. In this video, it's gonna be a little bit a theoretical video because I get so many emails and there's so many comments in the forum um, asking about the identification of bacteria also from yeah from a person's skin or from other, other natural sources um, using microscopes. And uh, I, I wanna talk about now um, is this even possible? Um, and uh, yeah, how do you actually do that? And the simple answer is is no, it's not possible. Um, I already made another video on bacteria um, and uh, where I explained a few of these things, but I simply want to pick up on this uh, topic again because it uh, simply appears uh, so many times. So why is it not possible to uh, identify bacteria um, using uh, using microscopes? Uh, first of all, uh, some basic uh, background. If you want to be able to identify something, you have to already know what you're looking for. Um, so this means uh, that uh, essentially if you isolate a bacterium from skin or from anywhere else, you have to have some kind of a match in a database that you can compare it to. Now the situation with bacteria, however, is, is that uh, are, most of the bacteria that you find in the environment have not yet been characterized. As a matter of fact, there are studies that actually show that uh, only a small fraction, around maybe around 1% or so, okay, of bacteria can even be cultured in a laboratory. So the majority of bacteria um, cannot even be cultured. I'm not saying that 1% of the bacteria have already been cultured can be cultured okay so this means uh, the actual we don't, we don't know uh, what is out there in other words um, or we only have a very rough idea because we can only characterize those things that um, actually um, yeah we can actually uh, grow inside the laboratory now there are some very fancy new methods uh, that uh, still allow you to um, also analyze uh, bacteria that you cannot grow and and, uh, and culture in the lab uh, for example, uh, DNA studies using PCR and so on. Um, I'm not gonna talk about this now, but generally I just wanna make clear to you that the majority of bacteria have not uh, yet been characterized, okay? So uh, that is one of the things. Uh, so that it means even if you were able to kind of see bacteria under the microscope, which we can, of course, uh, uh, it does not really help us because it does not really uh, allow us any match, uh, to, to make any match, okay? So that's one thing. And the second, uh, probably even bigger problem is, is is that microscopes really do not provide sufficient uh, information on the type of bacterium or bacterial species. Um, it, it's like this just, I can see the shape of the bacterium, but this does not tell me anything what it is, okay? I mean, uh, it, it's almost like, I always use the example, it is almost like trying to identify a car based on its color, okay? Just because uh, um, the, the one car that I see is green and it happens to be a Ford, I cannot claim that all green cars are now Ford. Okay, because green is simply not a, 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 a typical or characteristic that we can use to identify cars. Okay, so that is, this is a little bit the, 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 the problem that, uh, that the microbiologists have is, is that it's kind of ironic that the, 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 the microscope which helped so much in discovering um, the micro, microscopic world uh, basically is not really always very useful in identifying bacteria. Yeah, we characterize them. I say oh, it's kind of, I don't know, a, a caucus or a rod or, or, or it's whatever. Yeah, a vibrio form which are, are, are bent. Uh, there are many, many of these uh, forms around. Even uh, Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, who basically uh, did discovered uh, saw bacteria for the first time, he actually made drawings of all of these shapes. But it does not tell us anything what they are, and it does not even tell us anything whether they are dangerous or not. Okay, I mean, that's what many people want to know. They want to isolate bacteria from I don't know from from skin or something because they're kind of worried um, for health reasons. Okay, but it doesn't work like this uh, because uh, simply because I find a certain bacteria of a certain shape does not tell me anything um, on whether they, they are uh, yeah dangerous or not. Yeah, it, it doesn't work. Okay. Um, so this is essentially the, the thing that we have and in laboratories and, and what they do is, is they do DNA studies, uh, for example, in, in, in the medical field. Um, they have uh, already reduced the options to the extent they already have their, their handful, so to say, of bacteria um, that uh, basically could be medically relevant and they're specifically testing for those. But simply going out in the wild and, and trying to identify bacteria using a microscope from, from, uh, yeah, uh, from, from natural sources is simply not going to work. Okay? Um, also, if you some, uh, scratch some stuff off from your skin, I mean, you're going to see more skin cells than you're probably going to see, yeah, see anything else because the skin cells are so much larger and prominent. Okay? 
Now that is uh, that's the thing, and the majority of bacteria that grow on our body and in our body, as a matter of fact, some people estimate maybe 10 to 15 times more bacterial cells grow on and in our body than we have cells. Um, it, only a small fraction of them is actually a medically a problem. Okay, uh, most of them are simply natural inhabitants which which actually prevent other bacteria which might be harmful from growing. So it, simply isol isolating the small percentage of those harmful bacteria somehow, I mean, this is not possible. Okay, um, also not meaningful, and uh, also I would say medically not even relevant. Okay, using microscopes for 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 diagnosis in, in that sense. Okay. Now having said that, there are some very rare specific cases where microscopes can help um, to actually really identify if I see a bacterium that, uh, under the microscope this is a very very bright spot in the center then this could be a so-called endospore and only very few bacteria actually form these but even if you see something like this uh, a, a bright uh, thing inside the cell uh, it could also be uh, a storage grain of PHB poly polyhydroxybutyric acid it's called right some bacteria form that and it, you still cannot distinguish this under the microscope okay um, so you have to do again special staining techniques so you see it, it's not that easy the whole thing um, and my advice is, is use microscopes because you want to go out uh, observe water samples observe ciliates paramecia algae whatever it's, it's really cool there's so much stuff to observe but honestly, I don't know, for um, identifying bacteria from your skin, first of all, it, that is technically difficult, okay? Um, and uh, also, I probably would say not meaningful. I mean, if you've got a good microscope, then analyze some of your saliva, okay? You're gonna find some bacteria there. If you are able to distinguish the bacteria from the other stuff that you've got in your mouth, like other debris and, and I don't know, food particles, okay? Even identifying them is, is, is uh, not so easy sometimes. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, wish you all, in, um, all the best. Uh, happy micro hunting and bye-bye. Uh,